guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at the Flower Beauty lipsticks. I got five from the Luxury Lip Color line which is the black packaging. These are the ones with the shine and more moisture to them. There are ten in the line and I'm going to go ahead and read you guys what it says on the website. Uh, I mean it doesn't say much but anyways there's ten colors. They are $6.98 a piece. And uh, these are called Kiss Sticks High Shine Lip Color Emollient Oils Improve Shine for a Rich Creamy Application, which is true. These are really rich and creamy and really shiny. Um, and then it says Pure Intense Color Payoff, which I agree with. They're really pigmented. And then Extreme Shine, which I agree with as well. So you can see they're shiny, super pigmented, beautiful. These don't last a long time. They're kind of just, they last like the typical uh, lipstick would so they're not long lasting but they don't come off your lips any sooner than you know your average lipstick so the first I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys on my lips the first shade that I'm going to talk about now is this one on my lips this is in the shade ginger lily I'm getting it all over my teeth this is like a medium toned coral peach shade super shiny really creamy I love how these almost look like a lip lacquer on your lips um, but you don't really notice them on your lips. They're not uncomfortable whatsoever. And I really like the packaging because they the lid stays on really good, almost too tight. But I like that, especially, you know, when I'm always throwing these in my purse. And I have a little guy that's always trying to get in my lipsticks. I just love how these feel on the lips. And I just can't believe this is like my first time trying these lipsticks. And they've been out forever. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into the swatches. So here we have the first shade, Ginger Lily. I'm just going to apply a little bit more because I've been wearing this for a couple hours. Uh, but, I mean, they just glide on so nicely. And for how glossy they are, they don't travel outside the lip lines, which is huge for me because I cannot stand that when that happens. But, I mean, great color payoff. Really pretty color. It's just a perfect medium coral peach shade. So the next shade I'm going to show you guys is called Baby Buttercup, and this is like a nude peach shade. This one is so pretty. Same um, as far as formula, they're consistent across the board. Really glossy, beautiful color. Love the pigmentation. This is such a pretty nude shade. It's peach. It has a little bit of pink, but it does lean more peach. And you see how it just glides on. It doesn't show any imperfections or anything in your lips. That's what I love about these lipsticks also. They hide a lot of, you know, your imperfections and things like that. So here we have Baby Buttercup, a really beautiful peach nude. So the next shade is one of the lightest out of the black collection, and this is called Morning Glory. This is a nude. It's a light light pink nude. There's a little bit of beige and I want to say a little bit of peach but it's more on the pink side. So here we have the shade Morning Glory. This is a really light nude but I think I can pull it off especially if I wear a lip liner. Alright moving on to one of their red shades in the line. This shade is called Rosebud and it is so pretty. I love this red shade. So here we have the shade Rosebud. This is a really beautiful blue based red. If you look on the bottom at the swatch, it looks like it's going to be a dark pink red, but it's not. It's definitely a blue tone red, but it is beautiful. It's kind of hard to apply because they are so glossy and putting a color like this on, you might want to use a lip liner but this is an amazing red shade. Now moving on to the last shade in the black collection that I picked up. This is in the shade Cactus Flower and this is new to their line. This is the only color that they added on that was new. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and... So as you can see it's orange but there's a little bit of red in this orange to make it more wearable. Um, so I'd say if you're gonna if you're looking for an orange, try this one out because orange is kind of a hard color to pull off. I think so, but um, I do like this orange. Moving on to the lipsticks in the white packaging, I'm gonna read what it says on their website. These are called Kiss Sticks Velvet Lip Colors. It says emollient oils improve shine for a rich creamy application, and then also pure intense color payoff, which they do have a really nice color payoff. 
um, really pigmented. They are matte, so they're gonna show, you know, whatever's going on with your lips a lot more than the other lipsticks. These last a little bit longer because they are matte. Um, they do feel nice on the lips, so I do like these. I just, um, I like the darker shades in this line a little bit better because they tend to hide my imperfections more than the lighter shades, which is pretty typical for any lipsticks that are matte. In this collection, they only have nine shades because the black collection did come out with a new one. So I don't know if they're going to come out with a new one with these yet, but it's not on their website. So for now, there's nine shades. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one of the lighter shades they have. This is in Camellia Charm. So you can see they go on nice and creamy. Um, and I love... I just love the pigmentation these have. This isn't my favorite shade, but I do make it work with the lip liner. So here we have Camellia Charm. Moving on to the next shade. This is in the shade Petal Kiss. Um, keep in mind the lipstick in the tube and the swatch on the bottom are different on a lot of them. So don't expect to get the exact same color that you see. But this is a really pretty nude. This is more of a mauve pink nude. is a beautiful nude and for being matte it does look really nice on the lips and it also feels nice you can kind of uh, feel when you you know press your lips together the oils that they put in them that they're talking about but I can definitely see this shade working for a lot of skin tones and this is the shade that Drew Barrymore claims that can work on every skin tone and you know what I can kind of see that because uh, it's soft enough for lighter skin tones, but it's deep enough for, you know, deeper skin tones. Um, and it just has that perfect mauve and pink undertones in it that just look really beautiful. This is one of my favorite nudes in my entire collection. Moving on to the shade called So A Gladiola. This is a beautiful peach shade. It's really vibrant. It's kind of... Um, that mid-tone peach shade that's really brightening. It comes off on your lips brighter than it looks in the tube. I love this shade. This is really beautiful. And when they apply on your lips, there's no like tugging. They just glide right over your lips, which is nice considering they are matte. I mean, they're kind of like a satin matte but they're definitely more matte than satin and I just, I'm in love with this color. It's so gorgeous. So here we have the shade So Gladiola and you can see how it just kind of brightens up my face. It's not like a dull peach at all. It's so pretty. It almost kind of has a fluorescent uh, vibe going on with it. Moving in to more of a deeper mauve shade. This is called Tender Tuberose. And you can definitely see it's more of a plum mauve. This one is really pretty. Um, it's just, it's still kind of a nude to me, like an everyday color, but uh, just a little bit deeper. This is one of my favorite shades. So here we have Tender Tuba Rose. This is such a pretty everyday color, but it's just a hair deeper than your everyday nudes. And I like it because it just kind of livens up the face. It just does a little something more than your typical nude would. Getting a little bit deeper here, we're looking at the shade Rosy Garden. This is a really pretty kind of medium raspberry color. This is such a gorgeous shade and will look good on a lot of people because it has that, you know, berry hue to it. I think berries look good on anybody. Anybody can pull off berry lips. Rosy Garden. I feel like this shade is the perfect mix of warm and cool so it doesn't make your teeth look yellow um, and it, I just think it's so flattering. I love this color and I'm more in love with it because it's matte. It's hard to find really pretty matte shades at the drugstore that fit a lot of different skin tones. So the next shade I'm going to show you is called Get to the Poinsettia. Yeah, Get to the Poinsettia. And I like this because this is a red, but it doesn't lean too blue or too orange. It actually leans more to the coral side. So this is kind of a unique red. I do love this color. This is like a really good summertime red. So here we have Get to the Poinsettia. Like I said, perfect summertime red. This color is so pretty. It's kind of a fluorescent red coral shade. I love this beautiful, beautiful red and unique.
see that all the shades are so pretty and I have to say with the matte collection, out of the matte collections that are out now at the drugstore, the Flower Beauty matte collection is my favorite. I love the tones more. I think they're more wearable. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Milani matte lipsticks and the Maybelline, but as far as how they look on my skin tone personally, they every shade pretty much goes with my skin tone. There's the formula. I love these. Um, I mean, keep in mind they are matte, so they're not like, oh my gosh, they're super creamy and hydrating. They're still a matte formula which, you know, they're um, they're comfortable, but they're not as comfortable as, let's say, these. But for being what they are, these are great. And like I said, the shade range is, she did a stunning job on the shade range. Now, as far as the black ones, these are beautiful. They do have high shine. They last like a normal lipstick would last. Oh, and these last a little bit longer than the black ones, just because they are matte. And one thing I really love about these, they don't, uh, travel outside the lip line for being you know how glossy and creamy these are they kind of have a light florally smell which I like because it's not overpowering and you can't smell it on the lips so overall I give these lipsticks like two thumbs up if I had three thumbs I'd give them three thumbs up but these are really nice love the matte and the shiny ones I don't think they could have done a better job for the pricing like I said these are only $6.98 at Walmart so the pricing on these I think are really good compared to a lot of the other things in their line I think a lot of the other things in their line are a little bit spendy but the lipsticks are a really great price and they're so pretty. So that's all I have for this video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.